wanted to share with you some empties of some of my favorite things or things that I tend to use and repurchase kind of a lot. So the first thing is my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Now I finished this one as well as a little mini. On top of that though, I did finish this Lottie London Overnight Lip Mask and two of these Ulta Lip Jelly tinted lip jellies. I like I'm just always putting on lip balm or I just always have it like there's one in every room in the house and you know I also have like a car chapstick. Anyway I would definitely repurchase and have already repurchased the Laneige. I think I got the bigger size this time. I would also repurchase the Lottie London. I like this one because it's thick and nourishing. The Ulta ones if they're on sale, I'll pick them up, but I think you'd be fine with just some regular old chapstick. You don't need to get the tinted jelly balm. Two things that I also finished are the Anissa Beauty The Wash and the Beauty Blender Solid Charcoal Charcoal cleanser and these are the things that I use to clean my brushes and my sponges for a makeup application. I really like both of these. I find the Anissa Beauty the wash to be pretty gentle. I really like that especially for my natural hair brushes and if I really want to get stuff out of my brushes and sponges I will rely on the Beauty Blender cleanser. Now I have found some um, like soap type cleansers like the Beauty Blender one that I like kind of well enough but I think these are the two that just really get my products um, get products out of my brushes and sponges really well. Now I also finished a Milani Cheek Kiss blush and this is the one in Merlot moment and this is actually I think the second Milani blush that I have completely panned. The other one was Nude Kiss. Was there another one? So this is the second or third. This is my favorite cream blush. Like I love these Milani cream bl I love these Milani cream blushes. They're like $9 at Ulta. Ulta has, I believe, four shades, but the Milani website has um, many more. So yeah, these are amazing. Like pretty much I use a Milani cream blush daily. So yeah, they just like need to make me an ambassador. Another thing that I finished is the Murad Hydration AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. Now I really like this cleanser when I do want a light exfoliation. Like I don't want to go in and rub off an entire layer of skin, but I want to like get a little bit of it off. That is when I will use this cleanser. I use it, I tend to double cleanse, so I'll wash my makeup off with something and then I'll go in with whatever cleanser I wanna use. And this is one that I will use a couple times a week. I do find that it does give me that exfoliation. Now it's not like deep down, like dermabrasion kind of stuff, but it is going to give you a bit of that exfoliated feeling. Let me tell y'all about this. Now, this is called Panty Cakes. It is a personal care enhancer. Now, initially, I was like, what is that? And this is like just this little oil that you could put in your little private crevices and stuff. And I love it. It smells so good. Now, it does... It's a liquid, but it will turn into a solid if you leave it out. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll like put it like in the bathroom when I'm showering or I'll put it on top of like something warm so that it can warm up. And then you just like take the dropper and you drop a little bit onto your hands and then you put it in, like all over your bits and pieces. And ooh, it just makes you smell sexy. Whew. Like, like I wanna hit on myself when I'm wearing it, right? I love that. Y'all go buy that, okay? They also have candles, they have a bar of soap, and the company is like a small little um, women-owned business. Honey, when I tell you my pancakes be smelling real good with pancakes. 
And another thing that I found through like Reddit <laughs> is Lumi or is it Lume? And this brand, this is their acidified body wash. I think I've I've gone through two of these. I might have gone through a third one. And this is just a body wash that I enjoy. It's supposed to have mandelic acid in it and it's supposed to be pH optimized. I bought a few things from the brand. So they do have these body washes and then they have deodorant and they have, um, what is it called? They have like this lotion deodorant thing and that I find helpful. You know, in the hot months, especially if you like stood in line a little too long when the Lord was handing out breasts. Now, if you take that little lotion and you just put it all over your, your boobies, like it helps not have a lot of sweat all up in under your stuff. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I like it. Now, two things that I finished that I will probably not repurchase. One is the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. Like, this smells really good. You can still smell it. It smells really good, but I don't find this to be that... Um, moisturizing so if I want to smell good you know I'll put some of this on I'll put the little penny cakes on you know but I'm gonna be ashy so this I would maybe purchase the smaller one just to use like on occasion but it's not something that I'm going to spend my money on again especially since I have found that the brand tree hut I found that found them at Ulta. They have some really nice smelling um, creams and I find those to actually be pretty moisturizing and nourishing. So not gonna pick this one up again. Now what I would often add to the Boom Boom Cream is the Josie Moran 100% pure argon oil. This is another one that I'm not going to repurchase. I mean, it's literally just argon oil. And I'm gonna tell you for real, for real, I have that just like that Johnson's baby oil, the gel. I'm fine with that. It's real thick. If you want to really, you know, not be ashy, get you some of that Johnson's, that, um, the baby oil gel, the gel, okay? Not the regular baby oil that be spilling all over the place. Get the baby oil gel, mix that with some of that tree hut cream, and then, like, you're good to go. You are going to be shining, and <laughs> you will not be dry. Um... So those are a few of the things that I have finished up, mainly things that I re will repurchase, a couple that I won't. Uh, and I guess I'll just see you in the next video. I'll also see you in my next empties. Who knows when that will come, but for sure it will because I do use my products. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully some of this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.